Hi everybody and welcome back to Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft and today we're going to be taking a look at two items sent by Ed Dewey. I think that's how we pronounce it. I'll just put it up on the screen below here in case I have done that and if I have I apologise. They've kindly sent me out a nice table and camp chair, lightweight stuff. I've uh, been testing it out last night hence why my burger and everything's there packed up and ready to go and I just thought I'd bring this along and do a quick review and a quick look at these. Um, first of all I'd just like to say that the table is a fantastic height. It's absolutely brilliant uh, for putting your cup as in there on. The chair is nice and comfortable as well. Been well tested out last night. Um, you can fit a lot of stuff on here or you cooking like your gas stove and bits and pieces or or your bits of food preparation things like that and generally just to put your beer on and stop it from falling over and it's a nice height where you don't have to like reach down to grab it it's just there right at the right height so anyway let's take a quick look at the table first okay then so here we have it then this is the table in its packed form obviously the bag's massive so it's, it's obviously it looks a lot bigger but once you get it and cinch it all down it grows quite quite small okay so there's plenty of room in there if you wanted to add some extra little bits because nine times out of ten people put these on the outside of the burgers and anyway so on the back on the top you've got a little cinch cord all right bag seems reasonable it's got two compartments inside so you keep these separated okay so we'll just put the bag to one side for now and then first of all you've got a very lightweight aluminium frame this just pulls out like so okay on the bottom you've got two um, plastic slippable slip proof feet well let's say that's slip proof like but that's I beg to differ if it slips or not I'm not really 100% sure all right so that's a good start nice flat surface and then on the top part you've got these two little bits of loose and what happens is these fit into these little grooves yeah so that gives you the perfect uh, setup for putting the tabletop on now putting the tabletop on itself what you've got to look at is you've got these grooves on the back here now the, the grooves going horizontal are the ones that you want not these ones where the poles have gone into okay now the tabletop itself it has a bit of elastic attached to it which allows it to keep it nice and tight together as you can see okay so we'll just bring them off open it up look underneath and underneath you can see we we'll have it's like a circular like run that is the part that you attach to the actual table itself so you need to turn them so they're facing that way now on the on the thing it says that you can actually put it together standing up over now i would say to be quite honest it's a little bit dubious because it, it tends to collapse if you put a lot of pressure onto the onto the bars but if you lift the plastic up and then press down it works sweet as a nut and then just do the back side part like so all right there's a lot of people turning them upside down and then putting the legs on the, on top of the table itself but you don't need to if you if you hold the frame like so with them two fingers and just press down on the thumb it's not going to collapse on you okay and then you've got a nice big sturdy table all right it weighs about eight eight hundred grams it's it's very light it's it's a nice height off the ground it's about what say 12 inches or something I'll, I'll put the I'll put the dimensions on the uh, screen itself in any rate but using this last night it was an ideal height for putting me cans of beer on all right and uh, me little snacks and things so you can see it's an it's an ideal size isn't it really for uh, putting me putting your brew kit on all right so I'll just turn this brew off it takes no time at all that absolutely brilliant yeah, it's a very nice table, nice sturdy, a nice height, ideal look at. I'm not leaning over out of my chair with these little low profile lightweight tables that you can buy. I'm sitting there at a nice height. All right, obviously my cup is going to be Scorchio. So just have to watch my hands. And there you go, it's at a nice height. Oh yeah, God, that's hot. Make a nice cup of soup. And obviously with it being a metal top, you can put your hot pans down on it and it's not going to burn either. 
All right. Right. So here we are looking at the chair. All right. It's just like a normal camp chair, collapsible fold and clamped camp chair. But first of all, before I this can take it down and show you how to put it back together, I'm just going to show you a little little thing I started doing uh, just last night. I've seen a lot of people on the videos putting the bag attaching it to the bottom of the leg so it doesn't go missing. Well, I've gone one step further and inside my bag I put all my brew kit. So I've got my cup, I've got my gas stove. It's all nice and handy just to put away. Gas stove, stand, pan lid. My Pathfinder kit, full water bottle. Okay, it's a bag that just wants to keep on giving. And then I've got my spork in there, my brew kit. That's the last thing I've got. Oh, that's a smelly bag thing. And then inside of there, I've got my Soto stove as well. So that holds a lot of gear. All right, so it's all nice and handy. You just take it out, put it on your table, make yourself a brew. When you're finished, put it all back, pack it away, and everything's nice and tidy. All right, so that's just a quick tip from Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft. Hey! <laughs> right, let's have a quick look at the chair. All right, so obviously I'm just gonna shut that zip because I don't wanna lose that little smelly pad thing. All right, so anyway, yeah, we have it. It's just a bog standard chair. It's a bit like your other ones that you get from other companies, okay? Um, like I say, comes comes in a nice curry bag, got the name printed all over. It's a as you can see, it's a, a nice bright orange and black chair. It's very comfortable, okay? I found it very comfortable last night. And I, I like the idea of having a bit of mesh at the back as well, just to get a little bit of a cool breeze to your back because you don't want to be too sweaty. But obviously, in the wintery months, all I do is cover that up by putting a little bit of a firmer rest mat on, all right? And that gives you that little bit of insulation on your back on the winter nights. So, the chair. I think we all know how to put it together. All right, it's nice and light. Yeah, put the weight up on the screen. Basically, all you've got is the cover itself comes off. All right, it's got some uh, heavy duty poles on the top to keep it keep it onto the poles. All right, the bag itself is a canny bag. It comes with a, a day shackle for some reason. But anyway, what I like about these bags is they've got heavy duty uh, bits of loops on the ends and also they've got some uh, bits of webbing on the top as well so you can attach it to the outside of your bag. And that's what this is probably for as well, just as an extra precaution. All right, so you can attach that to the outside of your bag rather than filling all the contents of your bag, filling the inside of your bag up with like table and chairs and that. Because when you stop, you want to get your chair out, sit down, have a brew, don't you? I, I know me and Rooney do, like. But anyway, the chair, it collapses in on itself. It's just like a telescopic pools on it. All right. Like so. And then just to wrap it up, it's got a little Velcro strap on the bottom there. Wrap it up. Put it back together. Same. Same as you've dismantled it, okay, put it all together, yeah, has the rain coming in so I'm glad I've got this big top above us, so I changed my top, top configuration this morning because I knew it was coming, so then on the bottom it has some rubberized feet with little bits that come off, um, I, I don't know if these come off actually, but uh, in any way, we don't want them coming off because you lose them in the mud. So you can go a little bit extra and just bring out little half bits of tennis tennis balls, put them underneath your chair, and it stops you from sinking in soft soft mud or soft ground. Putting the chair back together. All right, first of all, get your bag. Put your bag on the ho the hoops there. Put them over there, and then that gives you your place to store all your brew kit like I have. Putting it on the tops, like so, and then just a little bit of a bit on the bottom. Okay, and that's it, put together.
fast, easy, comfy, light chair thing. So there's the tables, the table and chair. All right. So please check out the links below. All right. And uh, if you're interested, pop over onto the site and go and purchase one. You don't have to, you're not obliged to. But if you do, have a look. Make sure I've got a link there as well or a, a discount code. I think there will be some like Lundy 10 or Lundy 15, but I'll clarify that by putting it up on the screen and putting it in the information. All right. Any questions, any answer, and anything you want to say, please leave a comment. I will get back to you. All right. See you next time. Ta-ra.